All right, guys, there's been a little social media gap in the, in the YouTubes and the Facebooks and everything because we couldn't show you all the stuff we were working on, but here we are. We're on the grounds of the Grand National Roadster Show in the sunny California. For now, a lot of rain's on the way, but hopefully it'll hold off. Got lines of badass cars everywhere. You can't get enough of this. This is a lifestyle here. Maybe underground a little bit where you live, the, the hot rod industry thing. But out here, it's a lifestyle. These people live for it. They eat it, breathe it, everything. It makes a really cool vibe when we get here. And that's why we work so hard on our cars to debut them here in sunny California. Inside building number six here is the Sonicer Award. We got two cars, as, as if you don't know, two cars one's a 56 ford truck it's black and the other one's a 68 dodge charger it's green you've seen them in bare metal and through our builds and some of our youtubes and then we cut you off cold because once we had got accepted to compete for this award we could not have any social media coverage so once we get back home we will flood you with too many pictures and videos and all of this stuff you'll be telling us we want to see something different but right now this is where we're at and Tim's going to be doing some video and he'll be showing you everything that we did, all the in-depth details. And the good thing is the judges are checking our cars out all night last night. That means we're still in the competition. If they ain't telling us to leave our doors open so they can look all night, that, that's a bad news. That means they're done with us and we're out. Right now we're still in. So give us your luck. Send us your luck. Keep your thumbs up. And we're going to try and do this shit. Has anything jumped at it so far? Yeah, there's a couple things that I like over in the far lot. There's a bare metal like Volkswagen bus, got a turbo motor in the back, spindle mount wheels. So they took a vintage Volkswagen bus and made it 100% like hot rod cool, got a drag race vibe to it. But yet it's a Volkswagen bus, right? It's a chopped off, it's a truck style. And then my thing is, of course, it's bare metal. So what's cooler than that? If it ain't steel, it ain't real. Well, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have a catchphrase. <laughs> it's the money maker right there. Yeah. There's so many that, great cars that, here. They're all that outside shit, too. That shit I get the most. Like, 
Yeah, people people just walk that. by me and walk by me and then they'll be like, if it ain't still, it ain't real. And I'm like, hey, yeah, that, that lets you know they truly watch, you know? We gotta make you a shirt. Let us know down in the comments right. if you wanna wear it. If it ain't real, it ain't steel shirt. Uh, I said at one time sitting in our Cadillac, we were sitting in it and the camera guy come up and I said, hey, you wanna go for a ride? And some dude said that to me and then another guy was standing on, it was a parade, I was just standing on the sidewalk and a guy rolls up in a, a Monte Carlo. He's like, hey man, look at my window. So I'm looking at his window and he's like, no, my quarter glass, I glanced at it. I'm like, what's up? And he goes, read it. So I looked down and read, read it and it says, wanna go for a ride. And I'm like, how the hell you put that on your window and run into me while you're in your car? <laughs> That's crazy. That's awesome. Okay, behind me is building number six. This is where all the vehicles that are competing for the Schlonecker Award are at. I'm gonna go walk through and show them off. There are only 12 vehicles that are accepted for this award. One of them didn't get finished in time, so there's 11 this year. And we have two builds in contention, so it's pretty awesome. So let's go walk around and check those vehicles out. Hey, what's going on? We're at the second day of the Grand National Roadster Show. We've got our F100 and the Charger here. Everything's going good. We've got a lot of good feedback and reception on both vehicles. So we're looking forward to tomorrow and seeing what happens.
got back from the Grand National Roger Show. For us, it's a 30-hour drive there and a 30-hour drive back, but it's one of our favorite shows and it was well worth it. We brought two vehicles to compete in the Sloniker, won some cool awards, got a ton of feedback from our industry peers. Thanks again to our crew here for pushing those vehicles through to completion. We had a tight deadline at the end, but that's the way it is in the hot rod industry. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, Check out our merch on the website and stay tuned for some more good videos. Now we're not here to give you advice on your life. We're not here to give you advice on your business. We're not even gonna get you involved in some fucking pyramid scheme that you don't wanna be involved in. We're not gonna sell you a mask that you put on your face that makes you beautiful. We're not gonna tell you how to work and grind hard and how you're gonna be a millionaire like Scott. <laughs> well, we, we do wanna tell you about is our four different types of sunflower seeds. <laughs> you name them, we got them. This one, we got original by <laughs> These taste like dirt. Dirt flavored, I don't know. It's salty dirt. It's salty dirt. Anyway, we pretty much wrote those off. Here we got jalapeno. Kind of tastes like the dust you'd sprinkle on a a jalapeno potato chip, not that great. Last night we picked up these chili lime by Biggs with an S. Notice the bag's still full, they suck Thanks. too. And then here we've got the dill pickle, currently the winner in the sunflower seed challenge sponsored by Vlasic. Holy shit. Shipping you know ain't easy. You know what they say, the pickle's delivering the load. It's right here with us. Then, then for the softer side of everything, we got a little bit of Jolly Rancher Chewies. Misfits, kind of like us. We ain't real truckers, but we're out here with the big truckers. Shipping ain't easy. It's pretty much a convenience store inside the truck at this point. Natural pistachios, those were eight bucks. Oriental style snack mix, not too shabby. After you take 8,000 calories of the gas station grocery shop and you gotta wash it down with a Diet Pepsi. Diet Pepsi. We also have bottles full of old spit out sunflower seed shells. Might be a little wound up for you in this video, but we've been up for three days trying to get our load to you. Behind us we've got, I don't know if you can see that, we've got multiple mirrors from the Grand National Roadster Show, half of which are now broken. We can just hear them breaking behind us the whole <laughs> If you hear something like glass shattering, that's just our mirrors. We actually made it, oh, there goes the highway patrol. Yeah. 48 feet deep. Yeah. Gotta go in stealth mode, maybe Roll get off mode. in a second. All the mirrors made it out to the Roger Show in perfect condition. And um, about half of them made it black. There's, <laughs> there's glass all over the back seat. We don't know what's going on. Yeah. Shipping ain't easy. Yeah. Don't hire us to haul your piano or your glass, but everything else, we got that covered. Uh, it's, it's been rough. It's been rough. Anyway, we're about uh, another 30 hours. From about 30 hours. Scott, Scott will be, uh, he's 60. By the time we get home, he's about 60 hours in. <laughs> Charles rode out with Scott and I rode back, so I don't know. Shipping ain't easy. Yeah. Alright. Peace out. See ya.
48 feet and deep. Signing off. Lot lizard.